Hey, this is Will from Mobile Fun, and I'm here today to talk to you about something a little bit different, fake iPhone cases. So what we have here is the OtterBox Defender. This is one of the most popular cases for the uh, iPhone 5, and it's very well respected and well regarded by people who've used it. But on the other hand, there are a lot of fakes floating around, such as this one, which we purchased from Amazon, and it doesn't have the same kind of quality as you'd expect from an OtterBox. So in this video, we're going to show you what you can do to find out if the case that you have is a fake, and what to do if you do find them. So here are three differences between a fake uh, OtterBox and a real OtterBox. So the first one, you can see pretty clearly, this has a nice green tint to it, which the real one does not have. This has some green cellophane around the screen protector, whereas this one is just clear. If you turn it over, the second big indicator is the texture of the back. You can feel this is kind of a more grippy texture, while this is quite slick. I'm sure the difference comes across too much if you just look at them. When you feel them, you'll definitely notice a difference. The final thing is on the uh, clips. You'll see that the real version, which is this one, has much thicker outline around the letters. And the letters themselves are also slightly fatter, slightly wider. So, if you can see that, the uh, font is very slightly different. Again, if you just had one of these, it's very difficult to tell, which is why the price is such a good indicator. But there are differences if you know where to look. This counterfeit is cheaper, but it's also of much worse quality. Inferior materials are used, certain details are off, and of course when the case inevitably breaks, it won't be covered by OtterBox. OtterBox have gained a reputation for making cases that keep your valuable smartphone safe, but with a counterfeit you get none of that assurance. If you chose an OtterBox because you've heard good things about the brand, by choosing a counterfeit, you're sacrificing the very reason you went with OtterBox in the first place. Ultimately, the difference in price isn't worth the risk that your phone will be left unprotected at a critical moment. So, here's how to avoid counterfeit cases. Number one, if the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. A 30 or 40 pound case won't appear on Amazon for five or 10 pounds. Second of all, check the case maker's list of approved retailers. If the retailer is on that list, the chances are pretty good you won't end up with a fake. If it's not, then you can't really take the risk. Number three is reading the re user reviews. While most people may not be able to tell the difference between a fake, those that do will usually let people know. So check those reviews, and if there are a couple comments saying that, that it's a fake, then steer clear. If you do order a case and you suspect it may be a fake, what can you do? Well, usually the best course is to document the fake, return it to the retailer, and then report the seller to the manufacturer. So, to sum up, popular brands are often copied. Don't be fooled. While the packaging and even the cases themselves look very similar, these are not the same products. Secondly, these knockoffs are cheap and don't protect your phone. If you're getting a case to protect your phone, the worst thing you can do is go with an unknown brand that may fail at the worst possible moment. Number three, don't get ripped off. Buy from approved retailers and ignore prices that are too good to be true. Finally, if you find a fake, review it and report it so that other people don't make the same mistake. Well, I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, and stay sharp out there.